Welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today we are going to whip up some of Grandma's coleslaw. I just love some of her older recipes. They are simple and easy to put together and absolutely delicious. We have had an overabundance of summer squash in our garden. I didn't even plant summer squash, but I got a plant out there and that thing is almost as tall as I am and it is just pumping out the squash like crazy. My friend has been blessed with tons and tons of cabbage. So we bartered and switched it up. So now I have some cabbage to mix it up and she's got some summer squash, which is awesome. And I also ran out to the garden and picked a couple of carrots so we can make up some of Grandma's coleslaw, an old-fashioned recipe with very simple, easy ingredients. You should have everything right in the house. It's just like mayo, vinegar, lemon juice, uh, salt, pepper. There might be a little sugar in there. Um, but So we're just going to whip this up today and super simple and easy just to add a nice side to our meals. We're planning on burgers tonight on the smoker, so I thought a little coleslaw would go nice on the side. So let's get started. So this is super simple. You don't need any kind of special tools. I'm just gonna use a knife and a box grater. And I wanna pull these outer leaves off. I pulled a couple off. And uh, there's a little crack here, and I'm just gonna cut that off. I'm only going to use half of this because this makes quite a lot of coleslaw. So we're just going to cut this little bad boy right in half. And we're going to save this because we are going to can some sauerkraut in a day or so. We'll just put that off to the side. And then I'm going to cut this yucky piece off here. I don't want to eat that. We'll just give that to the chickens. They absolutely love it and it is good for them so i'm just gonna quarter this and i'm gonna pull this stem out of here i don't want to eat that part when i was a kid my grandma always she always made the best stuff so again we're just going to take that out and i just loved her coleslaw and all her special sunday dinners and all that she always it was the best oh my goodness so then i'm going to cut these one more time in half so they are that size this is what size works really good for us you can shred the cabbage if you want if you like it really tiny you can shred it right on the box grater but i like it kind of long i don't know how to explain it i cut it pretty thin we're just gonna cut this fairly thin but and it's not too long but I don't I don't want it all this size some people like it that size and that's okay so whatever size really that works for you and we are just gonna cut all of this cabbage up half a head and I have a family of six so this will definitely be enough there'll be leftovers I might run some over to my mom and dad I'm sure they would love a little bit because we do things like that around here. And with the cost of everything, when you can get a deal or trade, definitely if you have a friend that has too much of something and you have too much of something, trade, definitely. We try to do that with any of our neighbors that are interested, family members, anybody we know, friends. And again, we're just gonna slice this really thin so we get some nice thin pieces. Okay, so once we've got all our cabbage cut up, this is a half a head of cabbage, I'm just gonna reach in here and kind of toss this around and make sure it's all kind of separated because cabbage kind of sticks to each other. And uh, we wanna separate it pretty good just so we can get this mixed up nice. And we are gonna put this off to the side and get started on our carrots. So for our carrots, 
I just pulled these right out of the garden. We gave them a quick wash and I'm just going to take the tops and tails off and the skins are pretty thin. When these are shredded, you don't notice the skins on there. Sometimes they're a little bitter, but these are nice and fresh, so they should be really good. And I'm just going to use a box grater for this and we're just going to shred these down. And you could do one to two carrots. I like a little extra carrot in there. And it shreds it up nicely. You can see your carrot. We're going to throw that right in on top of our cabbage. And you could go with a smaller shred or however you like it. We like our food a little bit more rustic and chunky. So we tend to do that. So I'm just going to keep shredding and I'll bring you back. Always remember, if you don't have chickens, don't throw these away. These make wonderful vegetable stock. We would save all these leaves and only cut the specific tiny piece out that's bad. And uh, tops and tails, we save all that stuff. I don't really cook the greens in there, but I would take this piece and cut it real close. And vegetable stock, your onions, all your scraps from your veggies, tomatoes, squash, zucchinis, beans, everything all makes beautiful vegetable stock. And we just save stuff up. And when we get a bunch each time, it tastes a little bit different, but it's always delicious. Simple and easy. So we have all of our cabbage shredded and our carrot shredded and everything is ready to go. And I am going to, I'm starting with a half cup of mayo. You can double this up if you're going to like a barbecue or a picnic or something, or you could definitely shrink it down too if this is too much for your family. Um, but we are starting with a half a cup of mayonnaise, and then I'm going to add four tablespoons of sugar. Sugar is not required. If you can't have sugar, you can switch it up to a sweetener that you like, or you can skip it and it will be pretty tart, but that's up to you. That's the beautiful thing about making your own, is you can do it how you like it. And then, so we've got our mayonnaise, our sugar, I'm going to add some white vinegar. We're gonna put just one tablespoon of white vinegar in, and I just keep it in a smaller bottle because it's easier to handle than that big gallon jug tablespoon in there and then we are going to add a half a teaspoon of lemon juice you can use fresh lemon or whatever kind of lemon you like and then just a little bit of salt just a teaspoon about a quarter teaspoon I use of salt not too much I don't like it too salty about a quarter teaspoon and then just pepper to taste and I put a oh probably a quarter teaspoon of that too because I like pepper it's good and then we are just going to mix this up and this is our dressing simple and easy just basic ingredients from the pantry. This just makes it so easy. I love older recipes. They really are wonderful. A lot of them had tons of flavor, and but very minimal ingredients. So uh, when I bust open grandma's cookbooks or think back to recipes she made, a lot of times they were a lot simpler than recipes you find today, which is nice. So once we have that all mixed up really well, and that is about the consistency right there, you can see we're going to pour this right over, let me grab a spatula, because I want to get it all out. So I'm just going to clean off my spoon. I don't want to lose any of this, I love it. <laughs> it tastes so good. All right, so we're just going to pour this right over our cabbage and carrots. 
and I am going to get all of this out of here so we don't lose any of it. A lot of it sticks to the walls of the jar. And then we're just going to toss this, get it all mixed in nicely. So we have a big, beautiful coleslaw for a side dish tonight. And there'll probably be some for lunch tomorrow, which is okay. I love coleslaw. So we just want to mix it until the dressing is completely mixed in there and everything is covered. It's not real thick. You can make more dressing if you want, and but we like it so it's just covered. And we let it sit for a few hours in the refrigerator and then give it another quick toss before we eat it because the juices kind of settle on the bottom and a little bit of the cabbage juice is gonna come out and add to that liquid also while it's sitting in the fridge. So we like to make sure we get this at least a few hours before dinner, get this going, if not in the morning. And there you have it, grandma's coleslaw. Simple, easy ingredients. It only takes a few minutes to whip up and put together and it makes a wonderful side dish during the summertime or any time of year. Mm. I just love this, it's so delicious. Mm -mm. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.